you my son? You know that. I do. We went on a huge adventure together. Now, I got a sudden pain. Kind of That's jellyfish. Oh my gosh. Днес се закуската ни в движение. Вече почти един часа и ние сме още на плодове. Плодове, навън и парка не е толкова ангажиран, тъй като е понеделник. И така се наслаждаваме на спокойствието. Тъй като някои паркове са доста ангажирани и с доста народ. И така уморително. Днес имаме един спокоен слънчев плодов ден. И аз успявам да се включа, за да направя поредното видео. Поредния апдейт. По повод на този целият джан, който ни заобикаля, да напомня на всички, особено на майките, които споделят моя канал, които гледат и споделят моя канал, колко е важно да пазим децата си. Храната на другите хора, нашата храна, хидратация на тялото, това е нещо, от което ние имаме нужда. И нещо, което ни помага да се предпазим от целият този джан, който е който е около нас. Хидратация на тялото и минерализация. И тъй като времето е ограничено, имаме само 24 часа в денонощието, колко време остава за това, това да злоупотребяваме. След като сме се погрижили с това, с добрата храна, шанса да попадне нещо, което не трябва в нас, или да предложим нещо на децата, преди да сме ги хидратирали и минерализирали, е много малък. Само напомням. Found effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Today, we're learning to live with the land. Discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. In Saudi Arabia, Mexico works by developing and planting crops that thrive on salt water. Here at Epcot, we're learning to reduce the need for pesticides by using natural predators like ladybugs and wasps to control pests. In Japan, we're learning that by adding composted leaves and other plant material to our soil, we can reduce the need for fertilizers. In farmlands across America, we're learning that by plowing under vegetation containing natural fertilizers, we can enrich the soil.
Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. All parts of this plant, even the flower petal, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, beans, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests, like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water with and nutrients. We can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce That's a year in this one small area. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and these crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses in restaurants here at the land every year. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. 